Goku awakens on the sandy shore. It seems he has washed up on a desert island along with the wreckage of the skeleton's ship. He decides to take a look around to see what he can see. Thank you for playing the demo of Dragon Quest Builders 2. Please note that any save data created after this, this point cannot be used in the release version of the game. In the release version, the island will be reset to its default state, but your system save data and any snapshots you have taken will be carried over. Okay. So it's not over yet. Okay, so let's try exploring. So you can get some stuff by... By hitting almost everything here. Suddenly Goku hears a voice. There's nothing here. The whole place is deserted. Where is this place anyway? How did I even get here? The voice seems to be coming from the other side of the rocky outcor outcrop. Goku might be able to dig through the sand to get to the other side. Okay, let's try going on the other side of this island or whatever. So this is a multi-purpose stick. Okay. Isle of Awakening, the land of infinite opportunity. Sounds good. Okay, let's, uh, the sky is such a strange color. Have I died and gone to heaven or hell or more likely? Uh, what was that noise? Hey, Spikey, who the heck are you? Okay, someone's there. Find a live one. A live one, sorry. Say you wouldn't happen to know how we wound up here? Would you? You were on a ship that sank and then you woke up on this beach. So how come you didn't care Kitu? What's your story? Uh, your name is Kogu and you are an apprentice builder. Never heard of one of them before. Congratulations, I guess. Anyway, my name's Melroth. Hey, you want to see something really gruesome? Follow me. Melroth? What's the matter? You're not uh, squeamish, are you? Come on, you won't be disappointed. Oh, it's this way. Okay. So there is a stamina bar. You can't run for as long as you lo as long as you want. Okay. Now that's what I call dead in the water. Bet you have never seen anything like this before. Seems like you and me are the only survivors from the shipwreck. What's that? You don't remember seeing me on board? But if I wasn't even a ship, that how did I? What the? Hey, that girl isn't dead after all. She sounds like she's in a pretty bad way though we should do the right thing and put her out of her misery there's no response just a corpse a wave breaks on the shore and washes the body out to sea oh where am I how did I get here
You are pilots, aren't you? Fill the freebooting brigands who shall take me captive and demand a ransom for my safe return. There she goes. She's got a mouth on her, hasn't she? There is only one way to make sure she shuts up for good. Mind if I do the honors? What is that? Talk. There's no response, it's corpse. A wave breaks on the shore and washes the body out to sea. Okay, let's go this way. Get away from me, you villains! If you are going to take me captive, at least tell me where we are and how I got here. Well, we are on an island with nothing but sand, rocks and a few corpses to keep us company. You must have washed up here with Goku when your ship sank. Just a moment, do I know you? What? Yes, I remember. You are the builder from the ship, the one who ran around grinning while those horrid monsters barked orders at you. I know you were in cahoots with them, so that means this is all your fault? Well, uh, what are you going to do about it? You are going to make the things we need to survive while we wait for a rescue party? Oh well, alright. Even a rank amateur like yourself should be able to use that worn out workbench outside to, outside to make the most basic essentials. I'm Lulu by the way. Now, what will we need to hold out until help arrives? Let me see. Mission, Lulu's demands. Make a room. We'll need shelter from the elements while we wait to be rescued. I would rather not die of exposure before, uh, exposure before then. The walls must be at least two blocks high and we'll need a door for getting in and out. Why not use this old shack? It's rather worse for wear, but uh, I'm sure we can fix the place up. We can salvage some of the taking from the wreckage to patch up any holes. Just use those gloves of yours to pick it up. You won't have to worry about splinters that way. Cook food in the bonfire. We have no idea how long it will take for a search party to locate us. So we'll need to find enough uh, sustenance to tide us over until we are rescued. There is bound to be a scaly winkle or two on the seashore. They are edible as long as you give them a good gilling on a bonfire first. You'll need some wood to burn, build a fire. Luckily for us there are plenty of pieces of driftwood and broken barrels from the shipwreck lying about. You may as well put them to use. Now can we expect to put my head down for the night, for the night these lumpy old rocks. I need a proper bed if I am to get my beauty sleep. I don't imagine you are capable of building four posters, so we shall have to make to make do with three piles of straw bedding. Place them in the room when you are done. Hey, don't start telling us what to do, bossy, bo bossy boots. You made... Who made you the leader here, anyway? Oh, pipe down, you Neanderthal. You don't even have the common decency to wear proper shed. Don't think you are impressing anyone with those oh so mighty muscles. Say that again and I'll show you how mighty these muscles are. Oh builder you are do you'll do these little favors for me. Won't you? You will save me from this savagery. Uh yes. That's wonderful I knew you'd do exactly as I asked. You can consider these little tasks as training exercises if you like. Then when you become a fully fledged builder, you'll have me to thank for it. Training exercises, who does this girl think she is? Remember what I said before about putting her out of her misery. Well, how about we put her out of her misery instead? Let the mission begin. Okay. Will you talk? How is the building work coming along? I do hope you won't keep me waiting too much longer. Lulu's demands. Make a room. Cook food on the bonfire. Build some beds. Okay, so that girl really gives me a hump. First, she won't stop whinging. Then, she, then the moment she wants something done, she's barking out orders like, "We are her servants. <laughs> Don't let her boss you around." Okay, you are a builder at the end of the day, not her lakey. Yeah, yeah, I know she's a standard here too, but that doesn't mean you have to help her. Don't be such a soapy 
Sad case. She she's a castaway at the end of the day, same as us. You got to look look out for number one. That's my motto. By the way, there's something I've been meaning, meaning to ask. You know, you said you were a builder. Is that like something to do with the duck's nose? Well, whatever this builder business is all about, I will help you, but only so I don't have to hang around with her. Have you decided which of her errands you will do first? If it was up to me, I will outman those walls while we are here. Just stuff some planks in the holes and they presto. And hey presto, we have builded ourselves a brand new room, right? To be honest, I blanked out the rest of her request. Speak to her again if you need a reminder. Okay, we have some blocks already. So let's... Uh-oh. Uh Did I place it at the wrong point? What? Okay. How am I supposed to... Okay, wait. Uh, do we need some more? Some blocks are already, already here. Okay, we got the room ready. Goku repaired my room. Now I have somewhere to hide in safety should monsters attack. Not bad, not bad for a base apprentice. Just so you know, I, a room must have a door and walls at least two blocks high. That's the first rule of rooms. Anyway, I'm ever so happy to have a proper place to stay. And you two are very welcome to stop by anytime you like. So make a room mission complete. Now. Melroth has something to say. Well, she seems pretty satisfied with the new room. Alright, next up is dinner. She wanted us to cook some of those scaly winkle things on a bonfire, didn't she? Is that something you can do? Koku learns a new recipe. Bonfire. A big bundle of branches that burns brightly. Can be used to cook food. What's the deal with that book? Uh-huh, you just invented bonfires and now you can build one if you have enough materials. All you need to do is put together some wood and oil on that worn out workbench. Well, if it's oil you need, I can give you some more. I wrung this out of a slime that got in my way earlier here. Go go up and steep splats of oil. All you, need, all you need now is wood. That girl said you can get some from the drift food in broken barrels on the beach whatever that means anyway you'd better get that bonfire built no use starving her it will only put her in an even worse mood than she's already in okay where's the one workbench uh, so we're going to create a bonfire okay Now what do we need? What is this? Uh, should I place a uh, place a bonfire here? Okay, there we go. What's that you have made? It's hot as heck and spits and crackles. It must be a bonfire. But are you sure you know that what you are doing with that? You know you are not supposed to play with fire, right? You can use a bonfire to cook food. Select an ingredient, put it on the fire with the square and then press X to start cooking. She wa uh, see what happens when you throw a skelly winkle on. A skelly winkle? Where am I supposed to get that? Where am I supposed to get us? Oh! So let's try to locate 
Skelly Wrinkles. It looks like I found one. Yep. If you really don't know those Skelly Wrinkles that girl was jabbering on about, but by any chance. Well, it smells pretty fishy to me. If we ate one of them raw, we would be chucking up chunks till the break of dawn. And that's something I would rather really avoid. So we got one Skelly Wrinkle finally. Okay. There's one more. There's one more. And we got more. So it should be enough. I got five pieces or six pieces of Skelly Winkle. Let's go back and do some cooking. Uh, so I'm finally cooking some Skelly Winkles. Careful, Goku, the Skelly Winkle just fail in the fire. But that must be how you cook it, so you builders can make food, eh? So that it will be a little while till that Skelly Winkle is completely cooked. Let's go and look for some more tails while we wait. I would wait here, I don't want to overcook this thing. So there we are. One cooked. Okay, that aroma. Is that the smell of a skewer? Sorry, succulently seared scaly winkle. I must have it. Hand is, hand is over. Okay, seared scaly winkle. Sounds yummy. Ah, uh, the sand of the seaside combines perfectly with the gravely crunch of the sand crane. Simply irresistible. But you don't have to limit your culinary repertoire to skelly winkles you know if you see anything that anything else that looks vaguely edible try cooking it on a bonfire a funny cooked meal much more filling than raw fare raw fare and it makes me feel healthier too just remember that cookery is all about experimentation so we got this mission complete cook food on the bonfire oh how rude of me just realized i never asked your names Goku and Meldroth, you say, I know you are a builder, Goku, but what do you do, Meldroth? Well, I am actually, I don't know what I do. I woke up on this island, but I can't remember anything before that. I mem memory is completely blank. Well, well, an apprentice builder and his amnesiac friend. What an unexpected partnership. Oh, we are not partners. If you think a guy like me would team up with a puny little runt, like <laughs> he must be teaming. Speaking of dreams, I'm starting to feel a little drowsy. It's been a long stressful day and that seared Skelly Winkle has filled me up nicely. So Goku, how is progress going with the straw batting I asked you to make? I'm really rather really ready to hit the hay. Okay. Goku learns a new recipe. Straw batting. Uh, basic batting ma uh, made from dried Wood planked in a pile can be slapped on. Here we go. He's got his book out again. What have you invented this time? Is that so? You recon you can make a straw bedding out of dry grass. Well, I think I saw something dry and grassy along the shore to the west. Could that be what you're looking for? I got some dry grass already, so let's see if I can build straw bedding. Okay, there we go. How many do we need? I don't know. Build some bats. We got two more. We need to build two more bats. And let me check the map. So where am I supposed to find the dry grass? Hmm. 
the dry grass. Okay. We got some dry grass here. It should be enough. Let's go. Okay, craft some more bats. Here we go. Build some bats. Why is it showing? Uh, am I supposed to place a bat here? Okay. There we go. This wonderful Goku, you made a bed for me and a couple for yourself too. Taking a nap during the day will help to recharge our energies. After the sun goes down, we'll be able to while away the dark and dangerous night in dreamland. I wonder uh, what mama and papa would say if they knew I was rubbing shoulders with a builder in a desert island, no less. When the children of Hargon attacked my hometown of Rippleport, my parents were caught up in a fighting those maniacal monsters, murdered them in cold blood. So I strode away on that accursed ship, hoping to avenge their deaths, but I was caught before I had the chance to do anything. We all know what happened next. Oh, Papa, Mama, I may be marooned on a desert island with these two lumbering lamoxes, but I shall survive. <laughs> Uh, pray that you watch over me in these trying times. Anyway, thank you both ever so much for snort sorting out sleeping arrangements. It's been a long hard day. I suggest we all get some well earned rest. Build some beds complete. Now what? Let's see now. You are, you are repair the room, sorted out my sleeping arrangements. Made me supper. I do believe that's everything. I must say it's a real relief to b have a builder around judging by the quality of your work. One would never imagine you were still only learning the ropes. I know we are stranded here, but in a weird way, I'm actually looking forward to it. I shall give you even more work to do so that you might blossom as a builder. The castaway life might be a little less luxurious than I am accustomed to, but even so, I think this could be a fun little adventure. And as for you, Meldo, this could be the perfect opportunity to observe a little culture and maybe even more, even some manners. Now then, Goga, I want you to go out at first light every morning and forage. 30 scaly winkles and 50 strips of kelp. It must be, it must all be cooked by lunchtime or I shall be cross. Lulu's demands complete. Now what? Meldot, I thought Lulu might calm down a bit once she got what she wanted, but she's just as big a pain in the neck as she was before. But still, I'm impressed. Despite all her nagging, you made everything we need to stay alive. I wish I could do what you do. Sigh. Hey Goku, I can have. Uh, can I have a go on that workbench? I want to try uh, making something myself. What do you say? Will you let me have a crack on the workbench? I won't break it. I promise. Build. I've been watching you making stuff all day, and I'm pretty sure I know exactly what to do. Watch this. I'm going to be a builder just like you. Now then, what was it you do first? No, that's not right. Damn it, why isn't it working? Hold on, you asked for it, Kya. Yeah. 
What did I do wrong? It doesn't make sense. Why can't I make things? At this rate, I'll never be a builder. Forget I thought making stuff would be all fun and games, but it's actually way harder than it looks. Sorry, Goku, I will be relying on you to build things for me from here on out. And seeing as you made all that stuff for Lulu, I think it's about time you worked things out and made something for me. Uh, Goku learns a new type. Oaken Club. A stout and sturdy wooden... I can't read it, it's too small. Can only be used by Meldroth. Attack plus 12. Okay. Let me build it. Equipment. There we go. Is that for me? What would I want with a silly old stick? It's not just any stick, it's an oaken club. I can use it to make stuff. Ah, that sounds right up my alley. Alright, I'll take it, I'll give it here. Well, what are you waiting for? Come on, come on. Give me. Uh, okay. Go gives an oaken club to mail those. Hey, this really is a club and a half. I wonder how it performs. Only one way to find out. Stand back while I give this beauty a few test swings. I like it now, I love it. Squishing slimes will be so much more satisfying now. And to think you made it using only the junk we found on the bank on the beach. You are amazing. <laughs> Thanks, Yogi. This club is the best present anyone's ever given me, I think. Can you feel that? Some kind of evil aura. It must be coming from a monster, but whatever it is, it's way more dangerous than those scrawny little slimes we saw before. This could be a good chance for you to learn a thing or two about how to fight. Just follow my lead and you will be scrapping with the best of them in no time. The monster is somewhere down the coast to west. Come on, I want to break in my new club by breaking this sucker's skull. A new destination has been added to your map. There's some kind of messy monster on the coast of the west. I can feel what I just said. Uh, okay. Uh, let's go. That way. I gotta eat something. Come on, come on. Come on. A group of monsters appear. Let's do this. Uh oh. Shit. Uh oh. There we go. <laughs> well, there's that. When you stuck your hand out just then, I got this irresistible urge to slap it. Let's call it a high five. It's something fans do to celebrate a job well done. I never thought of myself as a touchy feely type, but maybe I can make it an exception for this high five mark. Malarkey. Anyway, how do you enjoy the battle? I don't know about you, but I'm feeling fitter already. Goku and Meldoth's level, level increases. Meldoth gets stronger and Goku reaches level 2. His maximum HP increases. <laughs> Felt good waking that rate, right? It's like an irritating little itch has been well and truly scratched. But don't forget you are a builder, not a fighter. If you want to stick to the construction, you can leave the monster smashing to me. I still building does look like fun. I wish I could make stuff like you do, but I guess Winton destruction, destruction is much more my bag. Anyway, let's head back to the nut. Head back to the heart, sorry. Before Lulu steals all of bedding. She's a willy one. All right, you better make sure you sleep with one eye open tonight. Goku. 
I'm glad I met you. What do you say that uh, we explore the whole island together, just you and me? But let's do it tomorrow. I'm about to go on court any second now. Complete. Time to hit the hay. They're staying in a bed during the daytime will restore your health, but climb into bed at night and you will go straight to sleep and wake up bright eyed and bushy tailed the next morning. Let's go. Something is going on there. Uh, are you supposed to sleep? Good morning, you two. I hope you slept sound soundly because our new life as custom is officially begins today. Your first mission is to collect some kelp for breakfast on B. From beach. No. What is it, a little monster? It's my scaly wing color. It's disappeared. What? All that my lot. Oh no, I know it was you. I purposely only ate half of that seared scallywinkle last night so I could have the rest for breakfast. Give it back this stint. What are you wittering on about? I haven't touched your manky half munched molls mollusk. That or I was going on this time. Hey you two, we are going to want to see this. Oh, that's a uh, culprit. That monster must be the one who snaffled my scallywinkle. Ho ho ho. Uh oh. Whoa, it just took down the whole cliff. And are those steps? Ho ho ho, this way, young whip 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 whipper snappers. That floating freak can't seriously expect us to follow it, can it? On second thoughts, maybe it would be able to tell us something about this island. Goku, Lulu, let's get after that monster. I have got some questions that need answering. Okay. Let's go.
What are we doing? Maybe you guys are supposed to. Oh, we farmed one here. Let's, let's talk to this guy. This way, kid, kid. Kitty wing kills. Nearly there. He's leading us on a wild goose chase. Does that horrid hammer who would expect us to follow him all the way to the top of the mountain? That monster's got some kind of strange power. I never felt anything like it. We need to catch up. Okay, there's no escape now, you sneaky scaly winkle swindler. Just hand over the bivalve and no one gets hurt. Surely a noble lady can permit a hungry ham ham hammer herd or half snarfed left horse. I'll told it no excuses, stealing is stealing. No. Now we've served words about it, Goku see that scaly winkle, especially for me now. Give it back, you horrible, hoary, hairy hermit. Oh yes, Goku, it's just so happens that I have been waiting for a builder to rock, rock, rock up here for oh, a very long time indeed. Wait, how do you know he's a builder? Oh ho, you're an observant one, aren't you? What the very reason I pinched that scrum, scrum, scrumptious Skellywinkle was to lure your fr fine friend up here. Look around you, Goku, this temple has lain in this sto uh, sorry state for longer than I can recall. If you are the builder I believe you to be, then perhaps you can fix, fix, fix it. Everything you need to rebuild the temp, temp, temple is right here in these chests. But a fresh-faced builder like you might find that going diff, diff, difficult about ladder, blueprint, as a guide. Come back here, you uh, conniving old codger. If you think we are going to fix your house for free, we, you have got another thing coming. And anyway, what's a blue blueprint? Okay, we are about to learn a new type, looks like. <laughs> Goku draws out a mountain top temple blueprint. Okay. Mountain, de mountain top temple total. Okay, masonry wall, brazier. So we have one brazier out of four, and we need to build masonry wall here. Now what? Full view, L1 down level or an upper level. Okay. Uh, Gugu, why did you draw all these lines on the ground? Is one of those blueprints the hammer was telling us about? Gosh, you've never been, never even been here before, but you were still able to draw up a design for the mountain top temple. That's incredible. Now all you have to do is build it. Make sure you follow the blueprint to the block now. That old loony was telling the truth. Those chests should contain everything you need to finish the job. It looks like all you need to do, do is place masonry wall blocks in squares and put a brazier on top of each one. Use your gloves to move them if you make a mistake. Are ready to show Gary Glaw, Glaw Seller, how real builder does things? Keep one eye on the blueprint and you can't go wrong. Build to spec. Press when you are standing on a blueprint to view more info about it. Uh, check the blueprint as you, as you build and make sure every block is in its rightful place go go obtain some masonry wall blocks go go obtain some braziers i guess i only got those when i when i visited this place last time 
so let's just start building. Uh, messenger wall. There we go. Oh. This way, come on. Oh shit. There we go. Wall building. Will you please mine? Okay. Okay, now we have to place two bridges. One here. One right here. And last one here. There we go. <laughs> Good work, Goku. You have finished the blueprint. And you didn't even break your sweat. I think I'll have you build a build me a palace next. That shouldn't be any trouble for an expert like you. Answer me one thing though, uh, how did he come up with that group in the first place? Wait, I think I know the answer that big bug on your back has everything you need to know to be a builder written inside. You are busted now Goku, the secret is out so you may as well let me read it. You want my, you want, why not? Is something the matter Goku, your key are gone all red? Wait, you don't have a mucky, mucky magazine sandwich between the pages do you? Makinis doesn't matter to me. A quick wipe down with a damp cloth and it will be good as... Ho ho ho! You have finished repairing the temple I see. I knew you would, would, wouldn't let me down. All it took was a glance and you drew up that blueprint as quick 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 as a flash. You are the real deal Goku, a builder born and bread bread bread. Why say things twice? As a thank you for your hard work, 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 I would like to give you a little present. Here, you deserve it for the crack, crack, cracking job you did. Oh, we got a hammer. New tool acquired hammer. Bash blocks to bits with big hard hits. A silly old hammer? I thought you were going to give me back my breakfast. That's a giant mallet. And an indispensable item in the toolkit kit kit of any self-respecting builder. With that hammer in your hand, you can break, break, break blocks you couldn't before and gather even more materials. I also have another cork, cork, corking gift for you, Gogu. I'm sure you'll like this one. I give it this island, all of it, every last block, block, block. What? You are giving him this entire island? All he did was repair the temple. And we don't know who we, who you are either. I bet this island isn't even yours to give away. It certainly is mine, mine, mine. I have, I'll have you know I'm the guardian spirit of this island and what I say goes. Well, it looks like you have just become the proud owner of the private island, Goku. Are you going to take the offer? If you do accept, I would, would you mind if I stayed here? I don't really have anywhere else to go. <laughs> I'll stick around too, at least until I've got my memory back. I mean, if that's okay with you. What do you say, Goku? Will you take the island? It's a strong, strong, stonking good offer. Why not? I think you would make the right decision now. We can begin work on Lilutopia. Oh, the first thing I want is Belize. Melrod, I need you too. Lilutopia? I don't think so. Today we are established Melrod's empire of Eviskeleton. What is that? Eviscreation? Right, Goku? And she can be our first sacrifice. Ho ho ho, you hang up starts. This island belongs to Goku now. You should leave big 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 decisions like these up to him. Now Goku, you must be itching to try out that giant mallet of yours. Come up and see if you can break 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 this wall behind me. There's an absolutely smash smash smashing treasure back there that I think you'll be very interested in. Oh, we got treasure. Tooltip hammer. Hammers are perfect for bashing hard blocks. Press R2 once for a single strike or press and hold to 
hit continuously. You can switch tools anytime by pressing X. Well, let me try. Okay. Oh. Cool. So I don't need I don't even need to select this, it's already selected there. Okay, X to change. Okay, I can switch to glow and back to hammer using X. Now what? We got a staircase. Why not place it again? Uh oh. I wonder where this smashing treasure could be. On the mallet for me maybe? Let me place this thing back. Okay. Now. Where am I supposed to go to get the treasure? Up there. Let's check out quickly. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, come on. What the hell is going on? Okay. We call it a treasure, it just looks like a dirty old notice board to me. It may seem ordinary to the untrained eye, but that notice board is in fact a portal through which a builder may peek 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 into other dimensions. I'll explain more later for now, just peer into the portal and marvel at all the knock 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 out things you see. Take notice, notice board is where builders go to share their favorite snaps use it when you want to show off or need a spark of inspiration you must be con connected to the network to access the notice board you must create an account if you want to enjoy the game's online features okay i agree come on would you mind moving okay what are i supposed to do next talk to this guy so how do you like your new notice board it's quite the snap snap snappers paradise isn't it as long as you have one of those boards nearby you can fly 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 the laws of space and time and observe the work of other builders whenever you desire and you can put your creations or display for other builders to view too i'm sure you can see that the notice board is super 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 source of ideas and inspiration half of that was complete gibberish to me but if it helps you build the playlist of my dreams, I'm all for it. Anytime soon, there is one rather big stumbling block that's getting in the way. It's this island. There are hardly any raw materials, and I don't think even a master builder would contemplate constructing a castle out of skelly winkles and kelp. I know that little lassie, lassie, lassie. There is one, only one way to get your hands on the materials you need. Track, track, track them down elsewhere and bring them back here. Complete. So this guy has another thing to do. As the young dam 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 still pointed out, this island is more than a little lake like lacking useful materials for an inspiring builder. But even if you had everything you needed, I doubt you would make much head 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 away with just the three of you. Wooden is stone, stone, stone are well and good, but what you really need is people. You'll have to travel to other islands and bring back a few friends to help you out. Besides, this gets lonely, red, red, rattling around this big island all by yourself. A few fresh faces will really live, live in the place up. Hold on, I thought we were stranded here. How are we supposed to get to these other islands without a ship? A top, top, top notch question indeed, and one that the heavens shall soon answer. You are just winking this, wing, winking this, aren't you? You don't have a clue. Hmm. You're doing this on purpose now? Alright. Out with it. Who are you really? And you can cut all that guardian spirit rubbish. Well, to tell you the truth, I can't remember who I am. I'm not even sure I ever knew. But I've got a funny feeling that it will all come right back, back, back to me if I watch Goku work his building magic. Well, there is no time like the present. Let's go and speak to the caption of that ship and get the work started. A new destination has been added to your map. Oh my goodness, how long is this demo? It's been a 
while yes yeah, it's, it's still going on where am I supposed to go and we gotta get to the ship and check out what the hell is wrong with that okay There we go. And here's our workbench. Who is this guy? A whole other me brainy bilge rats? I haven't seen any other humans for fathoms. The name's Brombeard. I was painting the ocean blue minding me bee's knees when I sailed right into the path of one of the children of Hargon's slave ships. I managed to avoid them but only by steering into a terrible storm. By the time I realized my map was back to front I was already stuck in a coffee stand. I tried to run back but I was not I was lost at sea. That's when I eyed this island on me port board bow and punted over punted over. So what's your story? How did you young snapper whippers end up here? <laughs> My name's Lulu and this is the kingdom of Lilitopia. Or at least it will be once Koku is finished with it. Lilitopia sounds like a lovely place for land lovers like yourselves. A safe heaven for a salted old sea dog like me. Goddess only knows what would have become of me if I hadn't sloshed up on these shores. Goddess only knows what this guy is talking about. Tell me, uh, tell you what, if you let me stick around, I'll be your chauffeur. I will ship you off to any island from here to the second stand on the map, on the map's backside. But at least I will try, I see. I know these oceans like the back of me neck and I don't know me neck at all. But if you hear of any islands nearby, I will happily ferry you over. Well, your board's a bit on the small side, but it looks in decent. Nick, I'd say we got a deal. Ho ho ho, it seems everything in is drop drop dropping into place. The fine captain will take you to nearby islands where I'm sure you will find plenty of materials and able bot bot bodied helpers to bring back. Well, the first thing the Utopia needs in a, is a little greenery. I can picture it now. Tree lined, boulevards, spacious parks. Tables sedging under the weight of freshly picked vegetables. In that case, you should first visit Furrow Field, an island to the east, famed for its fertile fields and fruit, fruit, fruitful farms. The island is home to a young loss with a bright future in farming and a dash dash dancing dandy with a bushy beard. They should be able to help you help your cause. I'll mark 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 it on Captain Brownbeard's map. We just leave the sailing to him. You heard the magic monster? Goku, come and find me when you are ready to go and we'll weigh the anchor. It was five tons last time checked. Okay. So. Do we have anything to do here or, we sh or should we go? I'm assuming we should go. Yeah, the demo ends here. Young builder, if you adventure this far, perhaps you'd be interested in the full version of the game. Just don't think about pirating it. The high seas and high adventures of VT and the Dragon Quest Builders too. Would you like me to ferry you to the game bazaar? No, I'm good. No, well, that's too bad. But if you have third thoughts about it, give me a shout. If you change your mind, I'll be right there waiting to whisk you away. After all, the winds so change are always blowing. That's what you get when you, can, when you have beans for breakfast okay guys so that was the end of the demo and I hope you definitely enjoyed it if you did you can destroy that like button subscribe to my channel share this video with your friends and that being said take care goodbye we'll be back with more videos next time